So now we got to get this silhouette image transferred onto the, the silhouette background. And before you do that, maybe you should practice in your sketchbook just painting it. And what I'd like you to do is to practice painting it without drawing it out first. Now, we could use transfer paper and go around all these edges very carefully and then transfer it to the background, but you're at home and you probably don't have transfer paper. Um, it, it also takes a lot of time and you can probably paint this without using all of that time and effort, just, just with your paintbrush. So let's look at this little hamster looking chipmunk on a, a wood stump. He's so cute. Uh, his head is kind of a pointy egg shape. So that's what I'm going to start with, just a pointy egg shape. And a little ear coming off there. And the tip of my brush can just make a little ear shape so easily. And a little maybe poofy hair and his other ear shape. And then we've got another kind of oval shape over here with a point on the bottom. And it's like twice as big as his head. So if we go from over to here, that's the same size. His body from here to there is the same size as his head. And then this bottom part to down to maybe here. So I can kind of map it out. little pointy shape and then his feet is kind of just like a little bit of a rectangle really okay so it's not exactly the same as this but you know it doesn't have to be get his little his little toes in there and I mean you can tell that's a hamster I mean, chipmunk, can't you? And then I can get the the shape of the stump. So I kind of cheated in this piece. I didn't fill in this whole space because if I did, it would be just a big black uh, blob shadow and you wouldn't be able to tell that that cute little guy is sitting on a, um, a tree trunk. So I cheated a little and added some white space inside the silhouette. I don't know if that's fair, but it, it kind of worked for me. So follow along with this video and maybe just try at first practicing painting this little chipmunk looking squirrel. Or you can go ahead and, and use whatever it is that you found as your image. I'm gonna move on and try out this uh, rock climbing dude. So you're probably thinking, oh, people, I can't paint people, they're just too hard. Well, look at it. It's just a circle with a rectangle below it and another kind of rectangle shape below that. So give it a shot. Just paint a circle with another rectangle below it. And a line sticking out of it over here. With a bigger ball at the end. And I don't know what he's holding here. Some rope or something for his rock climbing. And then this line comes pretty much straight down from this section. Straight line. A little bit wider at the bottom here where the rocks begin. And if I look at the negative shape, this white space on the inside, it looks a little bit like a goldfish, maybe. No, maybe not. An arrowhead. And 
and I painted his, his head really way too big, didn't I? But I didn't spend a ton of time on tracing it and then tracing it again just to get it all perfect in my in my image and it's it's pretty decent but I think I can I can do better and the next one I'm going to practice and paint that head a lot smaller